this these are the problems for homework 4.1 the solutions each pair of polygon is congruent find the measure of the number angles the answer for number one is the measurement the measure of angle one is equal to 110 the measurement of angle two is equal to 120 because angle one and angle a are corresponding angles angle two and angle e are 100 uh, Angle 2 and angle E are corresponding angles. The measurement of angle 3 is equal to 90. The measurement of angle 4 is equal to 135 degrees because angle 3 is corresponding with angle M, which is 90, and angle W is corresponding with angle R, so it's 135 degrees. The measurement of angle 6 is equal to 90. The measurement of angle 8 is equal to 90. The measurement of angle 5 is equal to 140. And to find the measurement of angle 7, you have to add the other angles together. So it's 90 plus 90 is 180 plus 40. So it's 320. The sum of the angles in a quadrilateral is 360. So you subtract 360 minus 320, so it's 40. So the measurement of angle 70 is 40. How do I know that? Because you can form two triangles here, and the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180, and the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180, so all together it's 360. So you subtract the two, and that's why you have 40 degrees. Number four, it says triangle CAT is congruent to triangle JSW. List each of the following. So we have CA is congruent. CA is congruent to JS. You see the marking? AT, AT is congruent to, J, uh, to segment SD. And of course, the remaining one is going to be 3. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this. So my congruent sides are AT is congruent to segment SD. Segment CA is congruent to segment J S and the last one is C T. Segment C T is congruent to segment C T is congruent to J D. Name the three pairs of congruent angles. Angle A is congruent to angle S. Angle C is congruent to angle J and angle T is congruent to angle D. WXYZ is congruent to JKLM. List each of the following four pairs of congruent sides. WX or segment WX is congruent to segment JK. Segment XY is congruent to segment, now we're dealing with XY, is congruent to KL. Segment YZ is congruent to segment LM. Segment WZ is congruent to segment JM. Four pairs of congruent angles. Angle W is congruent with angle J. Angle X is congruent to angle K. Angle Y is congruent to angle L. Angle Z is congruent to angle to angle M. These four pairs are corresponding angles, and these four pairs are corresponding. For exercise 8 and 9, can you conclude that triangles are congruent? The answer is yes. G H is congruent to segment IH. That's a corresponding side. JH, segment JH is congruent to segment JH. They share that side. And then H, uh, G, G, and then J is congruent segment IJ. So we have corresponding sides congruent, and we also have corresponding angles congruent. Angle G is congruent to angle I. Angle J is congruent to angle J. 
angle H is congruent to angle H. So we have corresponding sides that are congruent and we have corresponding angles that are congruent. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent. Triangle G H J is congruent with triangle I H J. Number nine, we have triangle Q R S and we're checking if it's congruent to triangle T V S. The only thing that's congruent is angle Q is congruent with angle T. Angle Q is congruent with angle T. Angle S is congruent with angle S. So we can't say that these two, two triangles are congruent. So these two triangles are not congruent because corresponding angles and corresponding sides are not. Number 10, developing a proof. Use the information given in the diagram. Give a reason that each statement is true. Angle L is congruent to angle Q. It is true because of the markings. The markings tells you that the segments are congruent. So A is true. B, angle L and M is congruent to this angle, which is QPN. That's true because all vertical angles, all vertical angles are congruent. Vertical angles are congruent. Angle M is congruent to angle P. The answer is the third angle theorem. The third angle theorem states that if two angles, which is this angle and this angle, and we have this angle and this angle are congruent. So we have two sets of congruent angles. Therefore, therefore the third angle has to be congruent. Okay. D segment LM, LM is congruent to QP. LN is congruent to N, uh, QN, and we have the third side that's congruent, so that's going to be because of the markings. The markings indicate, the markings indicate that the segments are congruent. So we can also say the last statement is true because corresponding angles and sides are congruent. It's true because corresponding sides and angles are congruent. Algebra, find the values of the variables. This side is congruent with this side. This side is congruent with this side. And this side is congruent with this side. This angle and this angle are congruent. So therefore, this is 74 degrees. This angle is 3x plus 2. And since this is since this is 5x, this has to be 5x. Remember that the sum of the angles is 180. So we have, we have this angle, we have this angle, and we have this angle. The three angles have a sum of 180. So I have 5x plus 3x plus 2 plus 74 equals 180. So 5x plus 3x gives you 8x plus... 74 plus 2 gives you 76 equals 180. Subtract 76 from both sides. So you have 8x equals 180 minus 76. So you have 104. And then we divide by 8. So uh, 8 goes in once. So it's x is equal to 13. 104 divided by 8 is 13. And then number 12, we know that this side is congruent with this side. The markings indicate that the sides are congruent. So we have 2x equals 10. Divide both sides by 2, so x equals 5. Quadrilateral ABCD is congruent to quadrilateral FGHJ. Find the measures of the given angles or lengths of the given sides. The measurement of angle B is 3Y. So B corresponds with G. We know that angle, we know that angle B is congruent with angle G. If they're congruent, then the measurements are equal. So you have 3Y equals Y plus 50. Solve for Y. So it's 2Y equals 
50 divided by 2, y equals 25. Now we got to find the measurement. So we're going to go back and substitute. So the measurement of angle B is equal to 3 times 25, which is 75 degrees. And the measurement of angle G is equal to 25 plus 50, which gives you 75 degrees.